Um, and that needs very nicely, AJ, into our next story, which is also about Taika Waititi. Because, yes, okay, it's interesting that he said Clara is his next movie. I have a feeling I know what the one after might be. Hint, hint, they kind of said it was being written in the article, but here's the full story. Uh, <laughs> because we have a, a Star Wars update, AJ. Be gentle, Star Wars fans. It's okay. <laughs> Careful, careful. I'm going to have your back now because the last time you told Star Wars fans to be careful and play nice, they all started to bite you for it. So, yes, guys, it's a Star Wars fan Tox who told you. <laughs> toxic knows toxic. It's like, what? I said I like this article. <laughs> this is how funny that video was. People, I said, be nice. Star Wars fans can be very toxic because they're so divided, owning the fact that they didn't divide themselves. The product has divided them. And I said, but here's a reason for us to be hopeful. <laughs> Freaking animals, mate. So I'm just saying, guys, calm down. Let's breathe. Enjoy that your product is being spoken about. And you know what? Just, just go past the first two words and listen to the whole story. Because I guarantee you guys didn't do it the last time. But anyway, no, hundred percent no. But the first two words are, first three words are, well, first four words. Toxic Star Wars fans. Now that we've got that out of the way, we can talk about this news article, because this news article I think is super interesting. Taika Waititi gives update on his Star Wars movie. This is an exclusive we have for you here, which I shall from Entertainment Tonight, which I shall now divulge. The director's first film in the franchise was announced in 2020. Taika Waititi is still planning on directing a Star Wars film. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight's Ash Crossan, the director revealed where his project for the franchise stands three years after it was first rumored and then officially confirmed. At the moment, I'm still developing, developing something with them. Like me, they have a lot of projects going on. I think they're going to push it until I finish these other projects. What E.T. told Entertainment Tonight. I'm just going to say E.T. from now on. I've got about four other scripts that I'm trying to finish, which we talked about in our other video. My thing is, I want to take my time with that and get it right. I don't want to rush this movie. Good for you, Taika. When E.T. spoke to Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy back in April, she echoed with E.T.'s comments. Oh, yeah. All that's underway, she told E.T. of, of what E.T.'s project, as well as Disney Plus's Lando series. There's no pivot, no pivot. It's all underway. Tyke is a little slow. Everybody's busy, but yeah, those are great projects, and we're definitely still doing them. Eh, we'll see. Uh, can I take the lead on this one? By all means. So, here's the thing. It wouldn't be the first time that we've been told something Star Wars is happening that then doesn't. That said... They do seem to have a very clear plan laid out at the, I believe it was either D23 or Star Wars Celebration in terms of bringing this kind of Mandoverse side story together. You know, we're going to have a culminating story here with Grand Admiral Thrawn, with the Mandalorian, with the Rebels crew. I think that very much remains Disney's focus. After that, I imagine you're going to get the James Mangold movie. Don't bite my head off, Star Wars fans. I believe he's doing that new Ray storyline. If any Star Wars movie was going to get dropped, it would be that new Ray movie. That I could see them dropping just because the fans are so split on that character. I'm more with you, AJ. I like her. I don't see the like unnecessary like vitriol towards her. Is she a Mary Sue? Yes, but... I'm going to say something that's really going to annoy people now. So is Luke. <laughs> Just... Thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> putting that one out there. Oh, Gary Sue himself. Love him. But he just, he's just great at everything, isn't he? Um, and yeah, I think this Taika Waititi project is going to happen. The fact that Kathleen, not because Kathleen Kennedy's saying it, because Kathleen Kennedy has already been given her marching orders by Bob Iger, right? I think she's going to be gone in the next few years. There will be new people in charge at Lucasfilm. Maybe Kevin Feige. That's been the long rumor. Um, with new leadership and direction does come cancellation of projects. It's just par for the course. I still think we're going to get this movie. 
I think he's too much of a hot filmmaker and he loves this project and franchise too much that they're going to get rid of it. But what are your thoughts? And remember, AJ, be nice to the toxic Star Wars fans. So here's my take, right? There's two things that really excite me on it. I hear a man who's saying he's taking his time with a project. So it's not that I've just been given like access to the golden goose that is Star Wars and I'm just going to knock it out and people take what it is because it's Star Wars and screw the Star Wars fans. He's not doing that. He's taking time. He's appreciating he's got other projects and he's working on it. Now, irrelevant of where Kathleen may be by the time this comes, what will happen is you get a chance to be able to read a script, see what it says and say if it's worth its weight. If a man's taking his time on it and the project's worthy, let it stick. So with that, I, I believe like, look, I, I, I'm going to echo what I said in the previous story. I respect Taika. I believe he's got a good comedy element. I think he's got a good director or your side to him as well. Um, again, going back to Jojo Rabbit, it, it was a, a very different take from most of the stuff I've seen with Taika and I really stop and appreciate it. So with that, there's, there's a lot of diversity in the guy and give the man a shot. If it, look, Disney obviously have trust in him because they've trusted him with the MCU, now they've brought him in on the Star Wars front. I wouldn't see that as a demotion, despite what Love and Thunder done. They they still put him in their ranks with the good yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's not even like a TV series, let's see what you could do with episode one. They've given him the big boys to play with. So you know what? All for it. Best of luck to you, Taika. Yeah, look, I mean, look, between between Taika and John Favreau, they still very much appear to be the darlings of Disney, don't they? Doing Marvel, doing Star Wars. I mean, Jesus, I'd love to see John Favreau come back and do a Marvel movie. I loved his take yeah. on Iron Man. I really did. But let this I, I like the road we're heading down. I'm one of the people who really liked the Ahsoka series on Disney Plus. I didn't like Obi-Wan. I love Mandalorian and or bored me. Yes, I know, Burn the Witch, and or bored me. And I had no time for Book of Boba's Nuts. Um, but yeah, that's more hit than miss for me. And I think we're heading towards something quite special with Star Wars. And if Tyke is involved further down the line as well, listen, these are all things to rejoice about. Let us know what you think. Go on. Can I just pitch something to you just now because we're on the, we're on the Tyker train at the moment sure. compared to Favreau. Favreau's done the MCU and he's done a bit of Disney and you're hoping he does a... A uh, 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 Star Wars. Could you imagine? And I know it's a bit of a reach because he's done four. Could you imagine Taika doing a live action Hercules? So Could much. It would be awesome, wouldn't it? It just so hit me much. down. That would be awesome. So much.